Well, hello. Got the grill in the picture here. You're supposed to uh, supposed to barbecue or grill out on Labor Day. It is Labor Day, 2021, September 6th, 2021. Also happens to be Father's Day. It's amazing to have two holidays in the same day. That's what we have. Isn't that special? So happy Father's Day to me and to you. And happy Labor Day to us and everyone else, right? Um, so the, la the history of Labor Day is uh, it's kind of an important day to think about, particularly from historical uh, perspectives. Um, the Industrial Revolution, which you'll learn about hopefully in school, uh, was, a, was a really big event in human history. It, it changed everything, uh, ultimately. It, it moved humanity from uh, physical individual labor, that means people working and using their own power, their own strength, their own hands, usually working in an agrarian sense. That means on a farm or on the land, cutting down trees, planting food, harvesting crop, um, building houses. They all did it by themselves. They all did it with their bodies. Their bodies. You needed a lot of children, maybe, to grow up and help you build a house. You need a lot of friends, a lot of neighbors, a lot of men, a lot of women to help do all that work. Um, but then when, when machines were built, it enabled the machine to do a lot of the hard work. And that was a great benefit. People didn't have to hurt their bodies as much. They didn't have to work as hard. Um, you didn't need as many people, as many people on the farm, as many family members, as many children, as many neighbors to help do all that work. You didn't need slaves. You didn't need servitude. Um, you didn't need indentured servants, people that worked for money or worked to earn their land. You didn't need that. Um, but it created a new problem, too. Now you had people, uh, you had a, an, a sharp increase in the ability to build and to produce. And so you moved all of those people into factories. And then the factory manager or owner thought, well, if I have more people... I can produce more, I can make more products, more cars, more wheels, more stuff. And people worked really, really hard in the Industrial Revolution in a different way. They worked longer hours. They worked maybe 15 to 20 hours a day. We thought, well, we'll put children. Children helped on the farm, now they'll help in the factory. And that didn't work too well. Um, people became angry, they became sick, they became injured. Uh, they had their lives and their time and their, their pleasure and their enjoyment and their families taken from them in some, t some ways. And so in the late 1800s, 1880s, 1890s, when the Industrial Revolution really, really began to take off, um, you had uh, labor unions, groups of people coming together that worked for the same factory that said, hey, let's represent ourselves, let's um, fight for our rights, let's make sure that people can hear our voice and our vote and maybe offer us working conditions that we think we need to do better and to have a better life. Um, there was a, the Labor Federation was the first one and then the Knights of Later, K-N-I-G-H-T-S, Knights, like a knight in a castle, Knights of Labor was the other group in the 1880s. And they were secret groups at first because they risked losing their jobs and they risked uh, getting fired or even worse, sometimes killed. And there were labor wars, real labor wars, uh, that were happening in New York City and Philadelphia and Boston, Oregon even. And uh, so they got together and said, well, you know what, at least what we'll do is, is we'll have a parade, a secret parade for our workers. And that's what they did. They had a secret parade. In 1882 in New York City was the first labor parade put on by the Knights of Labor and the Federation of Labor. Uh, and then they started doing that every weekend, or every, every year on Labor Day weekend. And they chose Labor Day weekend. They chose September, the first Monday in September, because the weather is optimum. Look at that. Look at that beautiful weather. Um, and it was, right between, it was right between July 4th and Thanksgiving. And so they put a holiday right in there so everybody can have another break besides just July 4th and Thanksgiving. And so that's how we have Labor Day. Um, Oregon was one of the first states to choose to adopt an official holiday. 
but then shortly after states all states followed and it became a federal holiday after that so Labor Day is the day that we spend to uh, give ourselves a break maybe to do labor for ourselves and labor that we want to do work that we want to get done um, we often have parades and we grill out which is what I think I'm going to do today and uh, we think about and we reminisce and we respect all of those people that worked so hard before us to help build our world and build our economy and build the life that we have today so uh, it's Labor Day Labor Day 2021 September 6th 2021 it's the first time Father's Day ever happened on a Labor Day first time a Labor Day ever happened on a Father's Day so happy Labor Day to everyone happy Father's Day to you and I Enjoy your grill out.